Hello everybody and welcome to a chat from the engineering desk. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for being here with me today. We're going to talk about a Arduino thermometer and humidity instrument. So what we got on the right here is an LCD screen 16 by 2 Arduino Uno and DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. The humidity sensor uses one wire communication, so the green line is the communication line, and then 0 volts and 5 volts connected to it. The LCD is configured with uh, power, ground, the, the reset line, the enable line, four data lines, and then power to the backlighting via current limiting resistor from the 5 volts. That's it as far as the wiring is concerned. It's pretty straightforward. Let's have a look at the code. So, I'm going to use liquidcrystal.h as a library, which handles the, um, the sending of data and the four data lines to the LCD, as well as all the timing and stuff in the background. Then, we tell it which pins are we, where the library needs to use. Then we're going to tell it that we're using a DHT sensor. We need that library for it as well. We tell it that the DHT is connected to pin 6 on the UNO over there. Tell it it's a DHT type 22 because it could be an 11. We then um, initialize the pin and the type for the library to become active. So LCD begin. Tell it it's a 16 by 2. We print hello world. Wait a second. We then send the cursor back to line 0, position 0, and write a space which wipes out the hello world clears the screen. We then set the cursor to line 0, position 0 again, and we write degree C for the space behind it, and do the same for humidity on the bottom line. We then initialize the sensor, and go to the loop, where we take the readings, read from the sensor, we check that we've done a successful read. We then send the cursor to that space effectively over there on the screen where we have printed degree C and humidity previously. So that would be degree C would be position 9, the, the Y would be on 10, so putting it on a 11 on those lines effectively gives us a space after those characters. Anyhow, so we position the cursor, print that value that we got from doing this reading of temperature, and we print, we reposition the cursor, print the value of humidity, which we got from doing that reading over there from the sensor. And then we print spaces after that, because depending on how, on the size of the uh, humidity or temperature being read, it may be single or double digits. And then you need to clear whatever was left on the screen if you're going from a double digit print to a single digit print. Otherwise it will look all garbled. That's why those uh, spaces get printed afterwards to clear the screen. We then wait up 250 milliseconds and repeat this exercise. So let's run the little simulator. I'll show you what's going on. So we say hello world, and then 
up comes our temperature reading and our humidity reading. Now if you click on the sensor, you can change those values. And there they've updated. See when you went to single digit temperature reading, this data moved to the left. So you need to print a space after that to clear what temperature value you had after that. Watch this. See that it moves up. Um, let's change that. Hello world. Do something more suitable. My thermo middle and we need need those let's recompile the code my thermometer wait a second it clears it and then it goes back to showing that screen If you live in the northern hemisphere, this would be what this should be a weather cold, dry. Could be cold and humid as well, but generally it tends to be dry. So that concludes our little lesson on a thermometer using an Arduino Uno, two line LCD, and the HC22. You could also use an I2C screen, in which case you'd have the two date lines connected to A4 and A5. You'd be using an I2C screen, and you'd be using the I2C library for the uh, for the screen. So this will change a bit. The stuff below doesn't change. It's just your libraries that change when you do that. I hope you found this interesting, enjoyed it, learned something from it, and try it out for yourself. The, the link to this code and stuff is in the description below. Go have a look, see what else Wokri has got. They've got nice stuff. You can learn a lot, you can practice. It's very nice. And I thank them for the service that they provide. For the rest, have a wonderful day further. And I'll see you here for more fun stuff. Cheers, everybody.